I'd like to tell you about a product called Squid Proxies. And what it does is it allows us to mask our IP address. And we can mask that IP address so that we can go surfing the web without actually giving away where our source IP is from. So if we click on another website, we can see what our IP address currently is. This is what is being broadcast out to the internet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and change my proxy. And that means that by default, we don't actually have a proxy address, but if we add a proxy address, then it allows us to uh, mask what our IP address is and to use this other IP address. All right, so I've got this list of proxies that I can use from squidproxies.com. So what you can do is click on buy proxies, for instance, it'll take you to squidproxies.com without the VIP. And it shows you what the cost of everything is. So there's two different types of proxies. There's the shared proxy and the private proxy. So right now we're looking at private. So that means that you're going to have your own IP address to yourself. And you can see that the cost per proxy is 240 for the uh, 10 user, all the way up to 2000 and then the price drops. The other option is to go with a shared proxy. So other companies may be also using this particular proxy IP address the same as you. So both ways are secure. You just have to decide if private is important to you or not. Now, whether you go with uh, private or shared, if you use a code, I can get you 20% off. And the code is click times three. So use that code, get 20% off, and that'll save you a lot of money. All right, so let's go back to our squid proxy. And I'm going back to the VIP area. And I need to add my current IP address into my list of authorized IPs. So I'll click on authorized IPs and I'll paste in my IP address and click submit. Now I need to wait roughly five minutes in order to be able to use this, but we can set this all up in the meantime. So we're gonna open a new tab and then go to the top right. And this is going to be in Chrome first. We're gonna do for all three different types of browsers, Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. And if you use another browser than that, you can go to their support site and they'll tell you how to do that. So I need to scroll down and choose advanced. And then you can go to find, and it'll help you find a little faster. Just type in proxy, hit enter. And we can see that under system, open your computer's proxy settings and we'll click that box. And there we see our automatic proxy setup. And if we scroll down, we can see the manual proxy. So we're gonna say use a proxy server. So we've got the address and we've got the port. So let's go back to our admin and you can choose any one from the list of the IP addresses you've purchased. So I have 200 in here. You might have the 10 package or the thousand package, whatever it is. So all we wanna do is copy the IP address to start with. And we know that it's also using port 8800. So I'm going to paste in the address and the port and click save. It's also a good idea to check the box for don't use the proxy server for local internet addresses. And that's if you are hosting anything internal to your network, such as a website or something else like that. Now I'm actually hosting some websites internally, so I'm gonna check that box. If you're not, then I wouldn't worry about it. Now, the good thing about this change is it not only works for Chrome, but it's going to work for Firefox and Edge as well. We no longer have to go into each individual browser and make that change. So I'm going to close my proxy. And now I'm going to go back into Firefox just to start with. And we see our IP address that we had before when we typed in to that website. I'm going to type into the website again. And look at that. We now see the IP address from the proxy address that we typed in earlier. So this is the old one. And now this is the new one. Let's just confirm the same thing is happening in Chrome. And it is. And then let's also double check Edge. And there we go. So all three of our browsers are automatically now using our new proxy IP address. Now, one of the things that's great about this is a lot of people use a VPN and you don't need to use a VPN if you use a proxy server. And this is a lot cheaper than using a public VPN. 
Now, if you're using a corporate VPN, that's completely different. I'm talking about a paid VPN service. So instead of using one of those, you can just use a proxy instead, and it will show up with one of your proxy IP addresses, whichever one that you put in the list. If you ever need to change your IP address for your proxy to one of the other IP addresses, or you would just like to delete it, you can just turn the proxy server off. And we do that just by either deleting the address and replacing it, or if we want it to go off, we just click the off button. Of course, if you do change your IP address, just make sure that the port number matches the port number uh, that was in that list, because sometimes the port number is not the one that you have chosen with a different IP address. So as we can see, Squid Proxies is effective and can replace expensive VPN software. So uh, check out the squidproxies.com website and don't forget to use ClickX3 as your 20% discount.